Hello people, today I want to share you some information about my hair. You know what's growing on my head and above my mouth and below my mouth. And I don't have much hair here. Maybe it will come one day, I don't know. But I want to tell you that hair is actually linked to intuition, to a sixth sense. So, uh, this is kind of important because I don't think this information is really something you get at school. So if you want your intuition to get up, get higher intuition level, just grow your hair. Because this is actually antenna. This catches electromagnetic fields from other people, other beings. I think trees also have it and stuff. So you make connection with your outside world, with the external world, by hair. You make electromagnetic connection. It's a, these are actually antenna, and a, you can send and receive information with your hair. You know, that's really amazing. There has been many studies already on this, so I'm not telling you this is bullshit. This is really awesome. So when I discovered this back in the days, that was just another reason for me to grow long hair. Because I already wanted long hair back in the days. But my parents never let me have <laughs> But I said, come on mom and dad. You no, know, I'm not gonna let it grow, you know. Because I wanted to. I feel better when I have long hair. I didn't feel that good when I had short hair, I remember. Always wanted to have long hair, my entire life. So yeah, just a little insight. What did they do back in the days when they enslaved people? They cut off their hair. So uh, yeah, that tells something about it, doesn't it? <laughs> People always knew that hair was linked to the sixth sense, to intuition. Intuition is kind of important because it's the gateway to the soul, to the dream world. I know a lot about intuition, but it's kind of... Yeah, I love it. I love intuition. I think everybody should work on it actually because it's the way out of your mind. It's the link, it's the missing link, it's the new gland. This is what they're trying to control, you know, through media, through processed foods. I already said it in many videos, but uh, there's a lot of foods that will calcify your pineal gland, also called your third eye. And uh, that's not good because it's not going to work anymore. So you're going to lose connection to the soul. That's not good. So yeah, hair is also part of uh, your intuition. Extension of the nervous system. So this will make a uh, a stronger electromagnetic field around them. That's what I'm pretty sure of, you know. <laughs> and I'm not saying that people with no hair or short hair are therefore less intuitive, but I'm just saying they could be more intuitive if they have longer hair, because it's a fact, you know. <laughs> facts are cool. I like facts. This is my natural state, I and mean, then I'm unshaved. <laughs> yeah, and I love it like this. Okay, so I think I'm going, I'm going to say goodbye here because I don't have much else things to say. You can eat some foods, you know, for hair, for hair growth. Uh, foods that are uh, abundant of vitamin A would be good like mangoes for example, or papaya, very good for your hair. Coconuts also I think, coconut oil is also very good for your hair. So if you put some coconut oil sometimes, 
it will make your hair stronger without having all the artificial junk, you know? You, you don't want to put artificial shit on your hair because your head absorbs stuff. It's not that your skin doesn't absorb, you know? Every place where there is a hair on your skin, that's a place where your skin breathes, you know? Your skin actually exchanges air, I think. Yeah. There's little holes in my skin <laughs> and in your skin. So yeah, gonna quit right here. Grow your hair if you want to. Yeah, grow your intuition, basically. Okay. Thank you for watching, people. Hope you enjoy it. This is from my apartment in uh, Thailand. I'm gonna have my bananas now. There they are. <laughs> Love my bananas. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you.